Okay, in the last video we talked about what a macro is and how to create a really basic macro. And as you recall, we created this macro with five random numbers created with a ran between formula, and then we just did a sum total at the bottom. Okay, so that's a really basic macro. In this video, we're going to talk about how to save your Excel workbook with your macro in it, and also some security things if you download macros from other sources. So first let's talk about saving. It's pretty much the same as normal. You just go to File, you go to Save As, and everything else will probably look pretty similar, but here's the thing that's different. Right here on the drop-down, you'll notice I've already saved this, and you'll notice it says Excel Macro Enabled Workbook, XLSM, okay? So that's the file extension that you have to use in order to save it with the macro enabled in the workbook, okay? Um, and on your drop-down menu, you'll notice your normal Excel workbook looks like this, right? But if I go click Save on that, it's going to give me this error. It's going to say the following features cannot be saved in a macro-free workbook. And it says your VB project, which is your Visual Basics. And by the way, the reason this says VB or Visual Basic is because when you create a macro, you are actually creating Visual Basic. It's just that Excel is writing the code for you as you go. Okay. But anyway, to save a file with these features, click No, and then choose a macro-enabled file type in the file type list. So to continue saving as a macro-free workbook, click Yes. Okay, so if I don't want the macros in it, and I want to lose my macros, then I'll click Yes. If I do want to get those macros in there, and I want to save this the right way, you have to be sure to click No here, go back up to here, change it to macro-enabled workbook, and then you can click Save. So that's the first important thing about saving your macro-enabled workbooks. The next thing that I want to show you has to do with security when you're downloading a macro-enabled workbook. Okay, And I'm going to flip over to another tab here. So this workbook is one that I downloaded from the internet, saved onto my computer, and I'm now trying to open it in Excel. And you'll notice this yellow bar up here that's giving me a warning message. And it says, protected view. Be careful. Files from the internet can contain viruses. Unless you need to edit, it's safer to stay in protected view. So if I wanted to use this, you know, I could go in here and I could delete this out. No, I can't because it's in protected view. So if it's in protected view, you're not going to be able to enter anything in the cells. I'm typing. See, nothing's being entered. If I try to run the macro, it's not going to run the macro. I just hit Control B or Control A was our macro, right? See, all that does is select all, which is what Control A normally does. But it's not running our macro because it hasn't been enabled. Okay. Now, here's the thing you need to know about files from the internet. They can contain viruses. So, if someone builds an Excel workbook with some sort of VBA code that contains a virus or is designed to cause problems on your computer, then that can cause you problems. So that's why Microsoft is saying, hey, before you open this, make sure that you know it's a trusted source, and if it's not, then don't enable it, okay? But if you have a reliable source, you know where it's coming from, you know it doesn't have any problems, it's not going to have viruses or cause your computer issues, then you go ahead and click here to enable editing. So that enables me to go in and edit. So now I could, you know, put things into the spreadsheet, but it still has disabled the macros. So if I want to enable the macros, I still have to go here and click enable. Okay, now we're ready to go. So if I go and I clear all these cells, and then I go here and I click control A, now it's going to run my macro. Now everything's enabled and it looks just like you're used to seeing. But that's what you have to do to enable a worksheet that has macros in it.